Hello everyone, welcome to Pentacool Math Mania. My name is Captain Is123 and today we will be working on ordering fractions. Today we will be looking at ordering fractions. We learned in our previous lessons about reducing fractions. But once we have reduced fractions, how do we tell which fractions are bigger than others? Well, John had this problem when he was trying to order his pizza. The menu was selling the pizzas as fractions of it. One half, three quarters, two thirds, three eighths and five eighths. He needed to figure out which one was the biggest. So his first step was to try and put them in order. We can order fractions in two different ways. The first way is in ascending order, which means from smallest to biggest. For example, one, two, three, four, five. The other way in which we can order fractions is in descending order, which means from biggest to smallest. For example, five, four, three, two, and then one. But before we can place these fractions in order, we must be able to tell which fractions are bigger than the others. Let us look at a few scenarios. Firstly, let us look at what happens when all the numerators of the different fractions are the same. Let's make them one. But when the denominator is different with the same numerators, the bigger the denominator is, the smaller the fraction. For example, one half, one fifth, one third, and one quarter. These four fractions in ascending order look like one fifth, one quarter, one third, and one half. Remember, the bigger the denominator, the smaller the fraction. So on the pizza menu, half of a pizza is bigger than one third of a pizza. Also, one fifth of a pizza is smaller than one quarter. The bigger the denominator is, the smaller the fraction, if all of the numerators are the same. Let's look at our second example. In this case, all the denominators are the same. So if all the numerators are different, we can use the numerators to arrange them in different orders, whether ascending order or descending order. Let's look at this example. If we have fractions 1 eighth, 6 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, 2 eighths, 5 eighths and 7 eighths, and we wanted them in descending order, meaning from biggest to smallest, it would look like 7 eighths, 6 eighths, 5 eighths, 4 eighths, 3 eighths, 2 eighths, and then 1 eighth. On the pizza menu, John could see that 5 eighths of a pizza is more than 3 eighths of a pizza. In this last example, the numerators and denominators are all different. In this case, we can use the number lines to show their positions and compare which ones are smaller and which ones are bigger. For example, let us look at the fractions 3 fifths, 1 half, 1 quarter, and 2 thirds. We can see that 1 quarter is positioned behind 1 half, which means 1 half is bigger. We can also see that 2 thirds is the biggest fraction here as it is positioned the furthest up the number line. Therefore, these fractions in ascending order would look like 1 quarter, 1 half, 3 fifths and then 2 thirds. So when John looks at the pizza menu and sees the fractions 1 half, 3 quarter, 2 thirds, 3 eighths and 5 eighths of pizza, he is able to place these fractions in descending order to see which fraction is the biggest. Go ahead and draw number lines and try to figure out what John's list would look like to show which fraction is the biggest. Are you almost finished? Let's have a look at the answer. 3 quarter, 2 thirds, 5 eighths, 1 half and then 3 eighths. Did you get these fractions in the correct order? Great job! Thank you for visiting Math City today. Try the exercises on pentacool.com to earn points and win great prizes.